Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video, we do the European Outlook for today's first video. So we're going to have a look at the weather in detail across Europe for the next uh, week to 10 days. And I'll get on that for you very shortly. Just say that coming up later on today, we've got JMA Friday, of course, a month bed look at with the Japanese and CFSB2 models. And we'll also have uh, our regular 10 to 14 day video update with all of the usual features as well. So busy old day at uh, Gaz Webby today. It's not going to be a late night uh, live stream tonight because I've got to do the second season one roundup uh, for the autumn for, for tomorrow morning tonight. So I've got to get that recorded uh, tonight. So uh, no uh, no late night uh, Friday live stream tonight. Uh, the uh, next live stream will be on Sunday at six o'clock. Uh, OK, so uh, let's get on a bit. Then. I'm going to start off with the uh, situation for today. So this is today's how today's uh, weather is looking. So low pressure generally dominating the scene across northern and western parts of Europe. We've got these areas of low pressure here in the northwest of Europe. Going further south, we've got this nice extension from the Azores High moving into uh, France, Spain and Portugal. Then over on the eastern side of Europe, pressure does look a little bit weaker uh, there with risk of heavy showers probably. Here's how the upper air temperatures are looking today. Very warm up in the extreme uh, northern part of the Europe, going up towards the Arctic. Uh, warm upper air temperatures there. That is associated with a blocking area of high pressure as well that is within the northern latitudes. Uh, the Scandinavia, though, actually quite cool. And coming further southwards, we actually see, see that the upper air temperatures are pretty cool in the northwest of Europe. They do get a lot hotter through the Mediterranean, though. And they're pretty warm in the southeastern corner of Europe as well. So quite a lot of heavy showers and thunderstorms. It is dry through the Med. It is now high summer, of course, down in the Mediterranean. So uh, dry really from the extreme west over towards the extreme eastern part of the Mediterranean. Going further north, so we pick up thunderstorms through the Balkans and they get more widespread as you head over towards the Alps. But as we go further north, we're still up towards uh, Scandinavia and northern parts of Europe. Lots of showers and longer spells of rain. Uh, there too. Some heavy showers and potential thunderstorms for northern parts of Germany, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands going into France. It's a lot drier there, although northern parts of France could have a few showers. And then it's a dry day really across much of the British Isles. But there are one or two showers around, and the next batch of rain will be heading in towards Ireland during the course of this afternoon and into this evening. Today's temperatures look like that, so pretty cool in the north of Europe, really. Temperatures pegged back across Scandinavia, just into mid to upper teens Celsius. Elsewhere, we're going to be somewhere from around low to mid 20 Celsius in the northwest to probably uh, low to mid 30 Celsius down through the bed. That's into the 90s Fahrenheit, as you would expect in the middle of summer in the Mediterranean. Uh, that's how things look tomorrow. So low pressure coming in off the Atlantic tomorrow into the UK and Ireland. That's going to be, that's going to be bringing lots of wet and windy weather uh, with it. Still looking unsettled across much of northern Europe. Across the southern parts of Europe, it is going to be uh, a lot drier through there. Up there, temperatures look hot through the Med. Elsewhere, though, particularly further north and west, the upper air temperatures are relatively cool. Showers and longer spells of rain, really, for much of uh, northern Europe. So, again, Scandinavia looking quite unsettled. Heavy showers and thunderstorms down this eastern side of Europe, too. Coming further westwards, it does get drier through France and Germany, although there could be a few showers around. Those are coming to Ireland and the UK. We have lots of heavy showers and longer spells of rain. Risk of thunder mixed in in places as well as that area's low pressure really digs in from off the Atlantic Ocean. Temperatures tomorrow look cool in the northwest of Europe, really just into upper teens to low 20 Celsius, but Scandinavia, Ireland, um, the UK. Going further eastwards through France, low countries, uh, Germany, we see temperatures there in the low to mid 30 Celsius. Eastern parts of Europe looking hot, temperatures probably around 30 degrees in the east of Europe, that's 86 Fahrenheit. I mean, going through Mediterranean again does look pretty hot there, temperatures probably up to around 33 or 34 degrees, quite a few areas. Sunday, unsettled in the northwest of Europe. Low pressure is dominating weather there. It looks hot, though, with high pressure down uh, across much of uh, the Med. 
Now, the heat is intensifying uh, across the Mediterranean. I think that will be a feature of the weather next week. Things will get increasingly hot through much of the Mediterranean. So, Sunday, yes, the upper air temperatures are not hot through the Med, but very cool upper air temperatures, particularly for Ireland and the UK in the northwest of Europe. Scandinavia, see the upper air temperatures just lifting up a little bit as winds shifting to the south. So, there's lots of wet weather across northern parts of Europe on Sunday. Uh, that area of low pressure across the uh, UK will be driving heavy rain in across many uh, northern parts of Europe, particularly for like southern parts of Norway, Sweden, Denmark, northern Germany. Yes, loads of heavy rain driving in from off the Atlantic through there. Could be some thunder mixed in. Thunderstorms possible over on the eastern side of Europe. Showers really for the UK and for Ireland, but coming down through France, Spain, and Portugal, it's mainly dry there, and most parts of the Med are looking dry as well. One or two showers of thunderstorms for the Balkans probably. The heat is intensifying across many southern and eastern parts of Europe. You see temperatures widely going into the low to mid 30s Celsius. Central southern parts of Spain seeing temperatures into the upper 30s Celsius. That's around 100 Fahrenheit. But at the same time, the northwest of Europe is going to be quite a lot cooler. With temperatures pegged back again just into the low 20s Celsius in many areas. Unsettled weather goes on for the northwest of Europe for uh, Monday. Another area low pressure coming in through the through uh, the UK and Ireland. Also, Scandinavia looks a little bit unsettled as well. At the same time, though, we've got this ridge across central and eastern parts of Europe, and we are putting up increasingly hot air into Mediterranean from the south. Upper air temperatures show that the heat is intensifying through the Med. So, most parts of the Med, from Spain and Portugal in the west over to Greece and Turkey in the east, looking really quite hot. So, warm sea across many central and eastern parts. Parts of Europe as well. In the northwest, though, it remains stubbornly cool. Those areas of low pressure in from off the Atlantic Ocean. The Mediterranean looks completely dry on Monday from east to west. No precipitation whatsoever. Showers look like they're generally easing off across central western parts of Europe as well, although we do still have some heavy showers and thunderstorms across these eastern parts of Europe, particularly from the Baltic Sea and going down towards um, some parts of the uh, Ukraine. Heading through Scandinavia, there's showers through there, and then into the UK and Ireland, it's a case of further spells of rain with uh, showers mixed in as well. That's where the coolest temperatures will be. Dismal, uh, I think, is the only word to describe the temperature across many parts of the UK on Monday and about persistent rain, probably no better than mid to upper teens Celsius. Very cool day possible on Monday, some parts of central England. However, go down to France, Spain, Portugal, it's a lot hotter through there, temperatures rising up into the low to upper 30s Celsius. So, so for France, somewhere from around 30 to 32. And for central Spain, probably up to around 38. 38 is around 100 Fahrenheit. Most parts of Europe actually looking very warm as well. On Monday, with temperatures into the upper 20s, if not the low 30s Celsius. Tuesday, hot through much of the Mediterranean, low pressure in the northwest of Europe, cool northerly winds digging into the northwest as well. Look at these upper air temperatures showing uh, a really big north south divide across Europe. So, uh, yes, again, the Med looking very hot, particularly through uh, Spain and also into the central bar of the Mediterranean, the holiday islands of like Mallorca, Minorca, Ibiza. The heat will be intensifying there uh, through next week. Hot air pushing up in towards more eastern and southeastern parts of Europe uh, as well. Looking a bit warmer for Scandinavia, but Ireland, UK and Northern France, very cool uh, rare temperatures through there. Lots of heavy showers across Scandinavia may extend through the Baltic Sea over towards northeastern parts of Europe as well, possibly into west of Russia. Otherwise, it is a little bit drier. Some showers uh, kicking off over the Alps, but a lot of dry weather to come on Tuesday through many parts of Europe, particularly so uh, across southern Europe, of, of course. Very hot temperatures through most parts of the Med. Uh, temperatures again into the mid 30 Celsius, widely some places going into the upper 30 Celsius. Uh, so maybe central Spain could be getting quite close to 40 degrees, I would have thought, by the middle of next week. That's going well into the 100s Fahrenheit. But at the same time, uh, UK and Ireland, Scandinavia generally 
quite cool with the temperatures there, just upper teens to low 20 Celsius of the air is coming in off the Atlantic Ocean. Wednesday, a uh, trough of low pressure is over Scandinavia, bring further showers through there, perhaps a little bit of a transient ridge building across parts of Western uh, Europe, and then down across Southern Europe again, we've got those very hot temperatures coming through once again, upper air temperatures look really hot through most of the Med, but much, much cooler across the northwest of Europe, unfortunately, for those who want it hot in the north of North and west of Europe. Uh, for precipitation, a lot of dry weather again through the Meg. Some showers at the east side of Europe. They could be uh, thundery. Could be some thunderstorms over on the eastern side of Europe. Lots of heavy showers over Scandinavia. Maybe a little bit dry for the UK and for Ireland. Most of France, Spain and Portugal again looking completely dry on Wednesday. It's hot through the Meg. Temperatures again widely from west to east into the mid to upper 30 Celsius. Inland Spain might go quite close to 40 degrees. The warmth extends up this eastern side of Europe with temperatures again into below 30 Celsius there. But out in the northwest of Europe, it is quite a lot cooler with temperatures uh, again pegged back just to the upper teens to perhaps low 20 Celsius. Thursday finds a little bit of a ridge building across western parts of Europe and that heat from the south will be trying to push its way northwards a little bit towards the end of next week as well. Still cool and showery of this area of low pressure over Scandinavia. Uh, so you see that the hot air from the Med is just beginning to push a little bit further northwards, actually, in towards parts of uh, France and going into southern Germany uh, as well. Uh, the west of Europe looking quite cool, although the upper air temperatures are picking up a bit for Ireland and England and Wales too. There's a band of wet weather across Ireland, England and Wales. That's a warm front that's pushing northwards and trying to allow that heat to move up uh, from the south. Heavy showers over Scandinavia, eastern parts of Europe again looking a little bit showery. Most parts of the bed uh, looking dry. And many central western parts of Europe actually quite dry. Hot air pushing northwards from uh, from Spain into France. I think see France widely going into the low to possibly mid 30 Celsius on uh, Thursday. Hot air also extending over onto the eastern side of Europe as well. So from the Black Sea going up towards Ukraine. Again, temperatures widely into the low to mid 30 Celsius there. Obviously very hot through the Mediterranean. So northwestern corner, but it is a little bit cooler still on Thursday with temperatures again from Russia, Scandinavia, UK and Ireland peg back into the low to mid uh, into the upper 10 Celsius to low 20 Celsius I should say and then we go through to the end of next week so this is Friday just bring you through to day 10 I've got low pressure out to west of Ireland this hot air is trying to surge northwards at the end of next week so we do see these hot up red temperatures pushing northwards some of that heat is even starting to get in towards parts of uh, the UK on Friday however very quick quickly we develop this area of low pressure moving in from off the Atlantic that pushes any hot air away into uh, central and eastern parts of Europe through the weekend through this first weekend of August so yes there is a potential for a little bit of push of heat into parts of, uh, uh, of northern Europe during Friday maybe to the early part of next weekend but if that heat does push northwards I think it very quickly gets swept away uh, to the east by low pressure coming in off the Atlantic. It is a very hot scene though in the weekend for much of the Mediterranean. So if you are planning to go down to the Med uh, over the next few days, then, uh, then it is going to be really hot down there. Uh, OK, so that's the European Outlook for this week. Do it all over again next week. We'll be back later on with JMA Friday and your 10 to 14 day video update. So come back uh, for that then. That's all for now though. And thanks for watching.